What's up everybody, DK Dave here and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. And uh, today we are delivering, oh gosh, it was, I don't remember off the top of my head now, it was like 20,000 pounds of hay. We're going from uh, Yuma, Arizona to Phoenix. And it's, I chose a, a shorter one uh, for this one just because I, I want to wait till I own my own truck before I do like a really long distant one. But anyway, I'm rambling. Gonna go ahead, I can, I can talk and drive, I think. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this going. Now, I, I also, uh, I've been playing a little bit off cam. And I've been trying to do it where I don't have the radar or the enhanced GPS up on screen. All right, there we go. Just going off the, the good old dash uh, GPS. And I'm also going to be getting head tracking, uh, hopefully in the next week or two. A head, a head tracking thing. So that way I can actually... Uh, get rid of the the fake mirrors and look around with the truck and actually look out my w the window without using the mouse and all that stuff so that'll be nice like this it's just i have to take my hands off the wheel i i don't like it all right uh looks like we are clear and snap the camera back forward and we are gonna go oh it's a horsey we're gonna get going all right and then also i changed uh the shifter setting back to oh gosh what is it split i think is the setting i'm using it got somehow changed to where it was one of the things where it was like it was every other gear i mean if you guys have watched the other videos you you know what i was working with but uh i got it back to where it's the actual gear progression then i hit a button to just change to the next set so that way it's like right now nope there we go. And I don't want to get going too quick. Well, oh, I can't because of the road ends. Perfect. And <laughs> do not enter. All right. So there's no one there. They would be stopped otherwise. Go ahead and get going here. Ooh, kind of turning a bit wide, but there we go. Some of these you, you just want to take wide. All right, come on. Oh, shifting up might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Losing speed. All right. Oh, watch out for this guy. This is cruising. All right, we got a speed limit of 75, and we're gonna we're gonna get going. Hopefully, this isn't this shouldn't be too long of a haul. Like I said, I chose a, a shorter one just to try and keep it light, but I am planning on hopefully getting my own truck here either in the next video or in the next couple, at least. I really want to make that happen. Because I feel like the game kind of opens up a lot more once you actually own a truck. Because if I've heard right, you can like open up your own business and you can do a lot more. Like, then I guess get other people who drive under you and I don't know. I'll find out. And I also want to, I've been wanting to explore the mods a little more. Um, from what I've heard, and I haven't looked into it, with mods, you can add other states. So I want to see about maybe getting something that can add in, like, Missouri around St. Louis. And I can go trucking around my, my neck of the woods. All right, here we go. We are going... Uh, how fast are we going? Okay, we're going the speed limit. Very nice. Starting to go a little quicker than the limit, but all right cop cop up there i mean i should be good if i don't pass them i i know this game just issues tickets automatically you don't get pulled over so i don't think he can do it if i'm behind him i hope not that would be really stupid for the game to do oh okay oh and here's my exit Whoa, what am i doing slow down a bit too much but okay <laughs> all right and here we go. <laughs> a head stop. Really? Who would have thought? Oh, I really should have paid attention. I got this stupid exit on-ramp glitch thing. That is dumb. I'm not happy about that. What is going on? Oh, I'm in seventh. That would be why I'm having trouble starting. That's so not good for uh, the transmission. 
There we go. I don't think I'm going to have enough momentum to get up. Can I, can I make it? Can I make it? Should I downshift? Um, kind of making it. It's kind of holding. Oh, man, that's so stupid. I can't believe I just did that. All right, let's get back up to speed. All right, there we go. And... All right. I was also trying to tweak my steering wheel setting just because I don't, I don't know how uh, an 18 wheeler actually is, but the steering was so sensitive. I mean, the slightest movement that would just turn the thing. And it's like, I'm pretty sure you have to turn the wheel a little bit more than what I was. So I loosened it up a little bit and I might, I might do it even more just so I have to turn the wheel a bit more. And then let's see rest area coming up. I don't think I'm tired. I don't feel tired. <laughs> Is there a way to tell if you're tired <laughs> without the uh, the other display that shows like the little bed? That was one thing. Um, I was playing a, on a, on a one time when not recording, and my guy was like on the verge of falling asleep and I stopped off to what I thought was a rest area or something. I couldn't figure out how to get him to actually go to bed. I, I don't think I was in the right area. All right, what am I doing? Shift up. All right, here we go. We're almost all the way back up to speed. Looks like there's a, we're heading into a storm. Looks like rain. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. I don't know, does it storm in this game? Do I have... Oh, shoot, I hope it doesn't. I was just thinking, I don't know how to turn on my wipers. Um, That's my brights, as I just blind someone. Nope. That's my horn, that makes sense. Well, I have no idea, so... <laughs> um, Hopefully there isn't rain, because... I will die. Yeah, what are you doing? Slowing down a lot is what we're doing. Did the speed limit drop? It did not. Okay, cut Walmart. Get out of the way. What is this clown doing? All right, come on. I'm just in the wrong gear now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Get back up into, uh, what am I in, 11th? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I didn't even think. I was just like, I didn't even check my gas. I just hopped on the road. It's a lot to take in. Like, getting used to actually, you know, looking at the dashboard is kind of cool. Or, yeah, instead of, like, that... I mean, I really like the... I don't even know what it's called. The advanced HUD or whatever. The the one that's just on by default. It, it has everything you need right on it. But, you know, you don't really get that in a car. So, I thought I'd go for something a little more realistic-ish. Man, this Walmart truck is killing me. Come on. Yeah, I agree. I want to pass him. Because he slows down, and then I have to, to brake, and then he speeds up. All right. Man, how much longer is this? I thought I chose a, a short one. I didn't think it was that far from was it Yuma to Phoenix. Come on. And let's see, is the Walmart truck gonna slow down again? Oh, here's our exit. Okay. 
So we we're good. We don't got to worry about Mr. Walmart in front of us breaking for just like that for oh and he is exiting. Lovely. I really hope he doesn't stop. I'm still really bad on hills. I'm so bad on hills. And this is a problem. This is such a problem. There we go. Actually, I handled that one not too bad. All right. And stop. Look, we are good to go. Make sure our hay clears. Yep. All right. And I'm started getting used to uh, skipping gears from the other method. But, you know, this is definitely... I prefer this style of shifting. I just got to get used to, to it again. It was kind of nice just going, like, from first to fourth to seventh or however it was. All right. And then we'll turn here. I also need to figure out how to use my blinkers. Okay. Oh, come on. That was garbage. There we go. And... We are at, what does that say? Bushnell? I don't know, I see horns on it. It's probably why they wanted hay. There's probably cattle here. Or some kind of animal, why else would you want hay? All right, here we go. And let's, uh, let's park it. Wants us to put it right there. What about backing in? Where does it want it? Right there. I'm still not comfortable with backing in yet. I'm slowly getting there. We'll just pull it in. And it showed it was right up here around the building. Should be able to clear this corner nice and easy. And then we can get it in the parking spot. All right. I know I can skip parking. Not concerned about that. Okay, where is it? I don't see it. Oh, shoot. Overshot that so much. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can straighten it out as I come on over it. All right, now straight. And boom, there we go. We are parked. That is awesome. Decoupling the trailer. And there we go. All right, I it, it was short. It's just without that, without the, the GPS, it, I mean, you know, it just doesn't tell you. So yeah, I just had to, I, I didn't know. Anyway, I, I keep rambling in this one. I don't know why. So anyway, guys, that's just, that's going to do it. I'm just doing the one quick delivery. Uh, in the next video, though, I I really want to say that'll be the one that we get our own truck in here because I'm getting close. Let's see. Go ahead and click continue because I am up to 55,000. I believe I can get my first truck. Let's see. Um, is that do I have to go there? Is that the only one I've been to? Visit selected dealer. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. The very oh, woo. I am only halfway to this. Uh, I don't even like that truck. I do not like it at all. Man, why are they so expensive? All right. So I got, I got a lot of driving to do, um, but I don't want to like keep putting them out and saying, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. So I might have to do some, a bunch of driving off camera and then save the actual final one where I get the truck for you guys. I might have to do that. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.